today i am going to discuss a common medicine very very common medicine that is known as paracetamol the trade names are dolo crocin calpol pyridacic like that and it is used for reducing fever and reducing pain so it is so common that uh, this product is sold as otc product that means over the counter product don't require any prescription that is why this drug is used and misused so before you take your paracetamol tablet you should know about the uh, how to use when to use when not to use that is very very important the question is whether paracetamol can kill you or not my answer is yes it is seen that in uk united kingdom every year 300 to 400 people die of paracetamol poisoning earlier days paracetamol was the commonest cause of drug induced that means uh, drug causing kidney problem in the world so because of precautions now that problem has come down but still it can cause lot of other problem in the other organ it can affect many organ so it is not that safe what we think so we should know what are the precaution you take before uh, you take the medicine before that let us know so what are the uh, problems it can cause in uh, human being so what are the complication or side effects it can cause so it can cause severe anemia there will be a blood loss there will be low blood hemoglobin level in the body it can cause liver damage hepatic failure known as hepatic failure it can cause jaundice patient may be drowsy patient uh, you have given the medicine and uh, paracetamol patient may be uh, not arousable he is drowsy uh, not responding properly to your command that may be dry mouth and we use it for headache and this drug itself can cause headache blood vision there will be defect in your vision you will see very blurring uh, picture it will through your eyes and it can cause also pain abdomen that means your stomach will be stomach upset dizziness there may be reeling of head so it may cause dizziness and already mentioned uh stomach upset along with that it can also cause pain abdomen so there are uh, many studies that have shows that paracetamol can cause increase in blood pressure so that is why those patient who are having high blood pressure they should try to avoid paracetamol if you are taking then take less amount unless take it unless otherwise very much essential so how much paracetamol you can take the so paracetamol tablets are uh, available in various strength from 500 to 1 g the commonest being is 500 mg tablet and the 650 mg tablet so uh, you start with a smaller dose 500 mg you can take 1000 mg and maximum four times in a day you can take it that means you can take uh, maximum a 4 g of paracetamol and try to avoid any other along with this para plain paracetamol try to avoid any other uh, paracetamol uh, containing drugs like uh, ultraset which contains tramadol and paracetamol so there are lot of combinations so maybe uh, taking more uh, medicine if at any ultraset also also plain paracetamol so try to avoid that see the composition of the medicine and uh, who should not take it people who should avoid paracetamol already have mentioned patient having liver problem patient having uh, some amount of kidney problem patient who are taking alcohol those who are alcoholic alcohol is a very common addiction so those who are alcoholic patient who are having uh, active tuberculosis tb infection and having epilepsy there are many patient who takes warfarin which is a blood thinner for their heart and uh, artery disease 
so these people should avoid paracetamol in uh, or if they are at all taking you have to take you have to see whether they are developing any complication of paracetamol or not so how to take paracetamol so paracetamol can be taken with with or without food already we mentioned the dose you should space the intake uh, four hour gaps not less than four hours some people they give uh, very frequently two hourly three hourly not that it should be minimum four hour gap from one dose to another dose and overdose can kill a person and uh, before you take paracetamol tell your doctor that uh, you are having tuberculosis you, you are having epilepsy you are taking blood thinners like warfarin and the, and the doc your doctor can take proper precaution thank you